Hello and welcome back to Matt Hayes Tottenham blog and to another breaking news video. So we've just gotten a, an update from the club on the injury Hugo Lloris suffered against Brighton on Saturday and unfortunately some of our worst fears have been confirmed. But before I get into that update, if you want more content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button for match previews, reviews, interactive live streams and more breaking news videos. So with regards to Hugo Lloris, uh, we heard very quickly from the club, it was actually on Saturday evening, they told us that Lloris had suffered a dislocated elbow from that really, really awful fall. Uh, which of course led to Brighton's first goal on Saturday and to be honest when it did happen we all feared the worst because it was a really really bad looking injury and you know we were kind of hoping and I saw like a few post, uh, posts on Facebook and Twitter saying that hopefully it was just a break or you know dislocated elbow and there was no ligament damage because we know from what Harry Kane has suffered with over the last couple of years that ligament damage is it, it can be bad and it can be a, a recurring injury but uh, the update from Tottenham today has said that uh, Hugo Lloris has gone, undergone further uh, assessments with regards to this injury he picked up and they can confirm that he will not be required to have surgery but he has suffered ligament damage in that elbow that he dislocated on Saturday. So it's really disappointing news and it's, you know, it's quite worrying that you know, at 32 years of age if this is going to be uh, a recurring injury it could be the end of his career at the top level. Um, but obviously we hope it's not. He's our club captain and a player who has been, he was stuck with us through uh, uh, some really bad periods and kind of deserves the the praise that he has been getting and even though there has been stick there which you can say was warranted um there was people saying that you know it was good that he got this injury now it can allow us to play Gazaniga or to get a new goalkeeper in January which is a, an awful thing to say really but it is kind of this bad news now that Larice has suffered ligament damage with regards to the time frame that he will be out the club have kind of continued on their usual sort of uh, reactions to these things and they haven't given an exact time frame now I know with Giovanni Lo Celso they did, they said he'd be back end of October, start of November, but that isn't really the norm with Tottenham. Uh, we know this from Harry Kane's many injuries, Deli Alli's as well. Uh, they just say he's out and with these, uh, the injury to Ryan Sessegnon as well, we're we haven't been given a time frame yet, it's always okay well he's out this week, he's out this week, he's out this week. And it's, it's a bit frustrating but I suppose you, you can understand that. Um, but they've said that Lloris will not be returning to training in 2019, so that's him gone for the year. Uh, Gazaniga until at least January when Lloris will hopefully be back in training but it could be longer than that there's been the first kind of time frame that was thrown around which kind of turned out to be just media rumours was two months um, and there's other uh, people suggesting it would be between four to six months because of the severity of the, the dislocation but nothing official from the club but he will be out until at earliest 2020 so uh, leave down in the comments below what you think about this disappointing news and if you think Gazaniga is the, is the right man to play in goals for us going forward or if we do need to sign someone in January. As always, thanks for watching.